Uh, Monday, May 8th, uh, 2023, at 6 p.m. And I'd like to bring the meeting of the Douglas Board of Health to order. We have first on the agenda, uh, we have two four, uh, I'm sorry, 428 Northeast Main Street variants. Ball is in your court. You want me to sit right here? Sure. Um, if you want me to present with this plan here? If you could, please, easier. yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm here representing um, Jason uh, Tavernier. Uh, he lives at 428 uh, Northeast Main, which, just to get your bearings, uh, Northeast Main, Charles Street, that little <coughs> triangular piece. Mm -hmm. There's a house right here. He's got a failed septic. Okay. So as you can see, uh, between uh, the size of the lot, mm -hmm. and then I've got a, uh, a stream that runs through hit here, Bull Run Brook, actually, and wetlands adjacent to it. I'm kind of uh, squeezed to what I can do. Yeah. yeah. So, so <coughs> in a situation like this, um, because I'm within 50 feet of a wetland, you don't get that automatic two feet to groundwater waiver. Mm -hmm. Then you, you have to, unless you ask for a variance, which I am asking for, so in an effort to keep that system as low as possible without making it a, 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 you know, a, a very <coughs> unsightly mound, mm -hmm. I'm asking for um, three feet to groundwater and not four. Now, if I didn't have this wetland right here, it would be an automatic two feet. Look at that tip right here. Uh, I tell you, it's, they're terrible. Terrible. Just what we don't need, yeah, absolutely. Man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so that's the, the, uh, the reason for a variance, uh, uh -huh. because I'm asking for bulk. Less than feet, great. Less than three feet, uh, thank you very much. Less than three feet to groundwater and um, less than 50 feet to the wetland. Well, and, and as you can see, I, I still have a, a, a pump system and it's still gonna be raised, you know, and uh, okay, but, so but not as bad. It, it's raised, what, two feet? Um, I got an exist, yeah, I got an existing grade of 345 and the, the top of the system's gonna be three feet above. Okay, so It'll three be feet a 347. Above. Okay. So the bottom of my system is at th is really going to be at 345, which is existing grade. Uh, so it's yeah. going to come up three feet. Yeah. Okay. Now I did notify the abutters, and then I also had to notify the abutters uh, because of conservation commission, which I have later tonight. Uh -huh. I mean, there's little else you can really do. You are in a really tight place here. Well, and that's why we, you know, we, we looked at different systems, and the one that works the best is the Presby, yeah. you know, because you mm -hmm. can come up with little different configurations, and there's really uh, yeah. no, nothing else you can do Actually, it's an improvement, is, uh, you know, from what you were dealing with there. Well, that, absolutely. I mean, uh, it has to be, uh, it has to be good for the, the neighboring uh, lots, you know. Yeah, yeah, well, right now there's an existing, I think it's a, a cesspool, but you know, a lot of these older systems, mm -hmm. there's cesspools that go down 10 to 15 feet, and they're, they're right in the groundwater. Right, right. And, and they'll work forever, but, yeah, they, yeah. you know, yeah. but so this, this thing, yeah, this is above, the bottom of the, is, uh, yeah, three feet above groundwater. Feet, yeah. And typically, according to Presby, um, all they need is a foot of sand below the pipes and the, uh -huh. the water, the effluent really? is fairly clean, hmm. according to their studies. Well, I know that Steve has, has uh, already right. said that it was okay uh, in his, um, you know, his assessment of it. <clears throat> Any questions on this, people? I mean, I feel comfortable if Steve approves yeah, that, something like that. Yeah, that, that's tight right there. It we is tight. There's very little you can do. And, right. and I think that it, 
certainly an improvement. Uh, yeah. Jobs like this, they, they just kind of design themselves because there's nothing we, else you're going to yeah, do. We, right. I mean, this is not our first one. <laughs> we oh, okay. It, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah this is a, they all have their little... Yeah. That's, that's right. <laughs> yeah. But you have to look at it from from the point point of view that um, you're actually improving, um, you know, the system. Oh, absolutely. So. Yeah, you're up and out of the groundwater. Right. All right, what other specific requests you're making? Um, oh, okay, so the, the, the waivers I'm asking for is uh, I'm supposed to be 10 feet away from the property line. I can only mm -hmm. get about 7 feet away from the property line. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the the other variance or the waiver is you're supposed to be 50 feet away from a wetland. Well, I'm I'm at 39 feet away, and then the groundwater. So those three. Let me ask you the the invert from the foundation to the uh, what, what is that? Is that? Um, yeah. So the existing invert right there. Uh huh. Um, so that so what we try to do is we try to match that because we're coming right. in from the, the outside right and then um, but it's the, the subject dictates what elevation everything's going to be right. I guess the, what I'm asking you is how you know how, how is that going to um, work with the you know tying into the new system well that's from the invert to the uh, the, the problem with the existing invert, it's it's too low. Um, oh, it is, yeah. And that's why we have to put in a pump to, oh, to okay. raise everything okay. up. You know, it, it'd be nice if we didn't have to do that, but yeah. because that's, it is a raised system. I see. So that's, the pump comes in. Yeah, okay. And the town doesn't have a septic meter? You don't mind the pipes on it? There's, uh, there, way down here on Charles Street, um, I know there's, uh, I think it's those those condos tie into a, a sewer with a force main. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not it's not a, uh, a sewer line. It's a, from those condos that are yeah. up that's too far away. Right. Mm. <coughs> well, I mean, there's little else you can really. Yeah, if you can't tie into town. There's very little else you can do. I, mean, I guess our concern would be, you know, the, what you're asking for over here, but Steve seems to feel that, um, you know, it's a safe situation. I, I just don't like pumps, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, well, they yeah. always go when you don't, <laughs> it's the worst time. Well, yeah. are you on a pump system? No, I'm no, not. No, no. no. Um, yeah, well, sometimes you don't have any choice. You know, I know. I, I, you always prefer gravity. Right. But just sometimes you can't do it when you have a raised system. Right. No. So yeah, I have to. I have to pump it. Well, so it's, it's about a foot. So I'm not. I'm not close. Like sometimes, if it's a couple of inches, you can, you know, make it work or right. re-drill a hole in the foundation. But I, I'm a foot difference there, so I'm, I'm never going to make it. No. Well, how do you feel, people? I'm okay. Yeah, if it's an improvement, I mean, we can rip. I'm okay. I don't hear any yeah. other options. Okay. Well, do we have a, a motion? <coughs> yeah, I'll make a motion that we um, accept the uh, 428 North East Main Street, Douglas, Mass. Local upgrade approval uh, for the following, what is it, uh, variance of the property line 10 feet required to 7.3 proposed uh, variance request, 39 feet from the wetlands and 3 feet above groundwater. Okay. Is that it? Yep. Okay, with, um, I'll second that. No, wait, uh, with the approval from uh, the engineer. Yeah. Steve. Yeah. <coughs> oh, the, uh, the approval, or at least, yeah, from Steve. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. can we clarify that a little better? Uh, yeah. Uh, 
Make a motion to accept the uh, variances uh, on request for the 10 foot to 7.3 foot uh, property line variance as well as the variance for 39 feet from wetlands and to three feet uh, above the groundwater line. Yeah. Um, following Steve's, our, our engineer's approval okay, of the great. plans as a, as a best case scenario. Okay. Do we want to make it relative to the civil site, engineering, dated, whatever the date is on it? Sure. 424, 2023. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, if the plan uh, is passed, we are okay. 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 Now I'm off to the commission. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you for coming. Here's your plan. That was on mine. Oh, these are yours? Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay, next on the agenda we have EDS drill discussion. Trailer. All right, so um, Dave, yep. you know, we uh, had a couple of uh, postponements due to the snowstorms in March of the EDS drill and it's been rescheduled to June 6th which is a Tuesday. Okay. Um, we have a already scheduled uh, Board of Health meeting on the 5th which is Monday. At the conclusion of the meeting I'd like to do a 30-ish minute uh, training overview on EDS's for um, the board. Uh, uh, furthermore on the plan so we're doing uh, the updates currently um, the points of contact sheets are uh, are good. I'm working on the flow for the EDS uh, floor plan and traffic flow. I've been in touch with uh, the police department. Uh, I'm going to be scheduling a meeting with their representative to go over the traffic and security plans. Uh, hopefully that will be in the next week or two. I've been just playing catch up with them. Um, and then other than that, they're supposed to send a representative uh, DPW, John Furno should be there, mm -hmm. and a couple of members of the fire department will be there as well. This drill is more a walkthrough than mm -hmm. a drill. Drill. <coughs> yeah. I'd like to do that <coughs> next year, uh, but this year is more just confirming the layout, make sure everybody feels comfortable, understands the plan, understands um, the different roles and responsibilities of the plan. Um, so that's the that's Great my job. update on the EDS. <coughs> yeah, that's wonderful. Um, the trailer. Um, so we got <coughs> approval of um, the. Um, uh, insurance, the registration plates, the shebang, um, and I spoke with uh, John Furno on last Friday, mm -hmm. um, and he's working on scheduling a pickup of it, um, and we're going to be placing it over here, and then we'll work on transferring things that are specifically for the EDS into the trailer. I hope to do that before the drill. If we can't, it's no big deal because we're not going to need the stuff this time around, right. but definitely for next year. So. Great. Super. <coughs> You said that the drill would be on six six June six mm -hmm. time of day all day. Sure, four four p.m. We'll start over there, and I, I think realistically we'll definitely be done by six, but probably earlier than that. Right. I and mean, it's a good, a, at the high school. It's going to be at the high school, so we'll meet out front. Um, I'll give everybody a quick rundown of the of the plan, and we'll do a walkthrough. And we'll have uh, floor plans and uh, <coughs> traffic flows for everybody to take a look at, and we'll just talk through um, what we anticipate doing where and then we can make modifications to the plan. Um, our planner, uh, Sarah, has requested that we get those to her by June 1st. However, because we're having the drill on the 6th, um, I'm going to be sending her what we currently have with the understanding that we may make some changes. Um, and so we'll, we'll go from there. Great. Sounds good to me. <coughs> Sounds like a big job. Well, it is. I, you, actually, you, you, you You've undertaken this project. You've done a great job. Well, I appreciate yeah. it. We, well, we appreciate it. Yeah, we, uh, we need to have a, a good plan for the town, and yeah. you know we don't want to ever have to use it. But if we Absolutely. have to, we can. You know, should be able to do it, or at least a modified version of it. Right. That's one thing we had experienced many times in my experience and my other job is that we may not need, need to use the full plan, but we need to use elements of it. And so we can always scale down or mm -hmm. modify, mm -hmm. but at least we have a starting point. Yeah, that's um, and that's important is to have the starting point. Very good. 
Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, we all set, set here. We move on to uh, transfer station discussion. What's new in the transfer station? <laughs> it's the same old. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Maybe you'd like to, uh, you know, maybe you'd like to add uh, to the discussion here. Uh, transfer any, any of you? Any, anything that. This, this is your big chance. <laughs> Yeah, I'm having a problem with people like, for example, in plastic. They're throwing all kinds of stuff in plastic. It's like we're getting, like, you know, like, um, uh, what do you call it? They get these packages, and the packages are plastic, but they have their uh, address on it. They're throwing that stuff into plastic. We've got to keep pulling it out. What do you mean? They have, oh, are you talking like about like, oh, I see, I like, the mail. if it's, a, oh, okay, mail. So the you mail, have the, yeah. the sticker. Drug, yeah. The, the, right, the point, you yeah. have, yeah. right, you have the address <coughs> and all the information. But right? they're throwing that in there, they're throwing uh, styrofoam in there. And it's, right. These guys are going to stay right on top of them. That's our new chairman, by the way, in the corner <laughs> over there. <laughs> oh, that's a pain, huh? Styrofoam. Yeah, it is. It really is a problem. But um, so um, it has styrofoam. We like to throw in the compact, and we can crush that. Right. Right. Because they just throw it in the open top, but it's taking up room for nothing. Oh, it yeah. has real big pieces. Absolutely. You know, and Absolutely. it's taking up room. Well, there again, it goes back to as far as I'm concerned. I think what we have to understand here is it is very important that we have coverage down below. Mm -hmm. That is crucial. I mean, I know that it, you can't stop everything because there, are, it, it, certain times there are vehicles one after another lined up, backed up, everybody just trying to move and get out of there. But you were there with me, Dick, one day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was somebody who pulled up to the, to the compactor, threw in a... Um, Snowboard into the compactor, threw in what else? I, uh, tennis thing. Oh yeah, the racket, racket. Like the tennis racket. I mean, this is this is you know in, in an instant where we just turned our head. Some people still think of it. Don't I hate to say it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we got some like by the time we get down and see what's what, you can see that they got pieces of wood in there. And sure. They, they, some people just don't care. Oh, they well they don't care, but they know better. Yeah. They do know better. They just don't do what they should be doing. And, you know, I know that for the most part, for the most part, I emphasize, there is coverage down there. Mm -hmm. But we've got to make sure that people know you're, look, you're watching. Because otherwise they will throw all kinds of garbage in there. Okay. And that's your job, really. I mean, w that's why we're here. That's why you're there. You're up there to watch for these things, uh, the violations. And, and if, if you're not doing it, I mean, this is going to happen. And, and, you know, we're not going to be able to keep the price. To, uh, the big thing we try to watch is between plastic and cardboard. Cardboard, yeah. no one's there. Nine and ten, they'll take the whole box and throw it in there. I know, and that takes up all the space. It's full of styrofoam. Yeah. 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 Oh, styrofoam yeah, exactly. exactly. Some of these boxes still have regular trash. Right. And I know, I understand you can't you can't I mean, see everything. Yeah. yeah. You just can't. It's impossible. No. So these guys trying to go between cardboard and plastic. Those are the two big yeah. issues we have down there in the back. The rest of the stuff isn't too bad. Right. I mean, newspapers, no big deal. Right. Um, the cans is nothing. Glass normally normally is nothing, but right. It's the plastic and cardboard. You know, I, I know that it's hard on on days where it's you know cold and really cold yeah. and and are really hot, one or the other. But it is the, your job, mm -hmm. and and we have to. If it takes rotating every ten minutes so you can warm up or do whatever, fine. But we still have to have that coverage. We can't have three people in the in the shed up there. It's just we can't we can't deal with that. 
You know, it's got to be at the most two of you up there. Yeah. You know, it, it, and you know, I have even heard from people uh, in town that say, "Why do you need three people up there?" Now, to be very honest with you, uh, Sutton has one person that does all of it. It recycles everything. Now, we want you guys to be there because, you know, we need you to, to, to make sure that the, the, the right thing is being done. Mm -hmm. But you've got to do your job, period. Uh, and, I, like, again, I know you guys for the most part are. You really are. You're good people. I, I appreciate your, your help, and I'm sure the, the whole board does, too. Uh, but this is something that I have to, I have to emphasize. Have to. Okay. Are there any questions? Well, this past Saturday, I was getting pushback from one of our lovely people. Oh. I was pulling uh, plastic bins out. Yeah. And the guy said, "Oh, I'm not supposed to throw this in here." I said, "No, those go in the, in the big ones oh, at okay. the bottom of the stairs." Yeah, yeah. I said, "Oh, okay. I'll just throw it in the compactor." <laughs> they don't care. Well, that's when you take his number down and we <laughs> we contact him, you know? I mean, do right. whatever. Mm -hmm. Take his license yeah, plate. Yeah, uh, yeah, we can send a letter. We can send a letter. Stuff they throw inside the compactor. Yeah. By the time we get down there, yeah. I mean, they're gone, so we can't. Well, right, that's, right. Yeah, but if you take it there, if somebody's down, or I know you can't see they everything. You don't see it until we get down there. I, I understand. You can't see everything. But, you know, we, we pick some of these people. If we do catch some of these people, you don't have to confront them. No. I mean, you can mention it to them. You can say, gee, you know, we'd appreciate blah, blah, blah. But you don't have to confront them. You don't have to do anything like that. Just take their number and we'll send them a nice little letter. And if they know that we're watching, then they're going to be a lot more careful mm -hmm. about throwing things in there. Yeah, yeah generally, <coughs> I think if somebody's just walking around and, and telling people, you know, kind of, Hammering them a little bit about they, they do their job no, too. You know, I have to say they they, they really for the most part they're doing their job. What about uh, contractors? You guys still see some people with a uh, absorbing amount of uh, like um, building or or that type of debris? Now we have contractor trucks come in. I mean, it's if they get it's their home. Yeah, you know? yeah, and I think we've yeah. had that discussion. We're fine with contractor trucks. Well, if they have like a few pieces of wood and a little bit of uh, <coughs> gypsum board, I mean. We just right, have to right. monitor yeah. how much and construction you ask them, is this from your house? Of course they're going to say yes. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah. You know? No, no, you got to be careful with just bags. Big black trash bags. You know, the same yeah. truck shows up yeah. every week with five <laughs> big black 55 gallon drum trash bags full. We have some people here, they only show up once a month. Yeah. Uh, so they save it all week. I mean, maybe in the wintertime it's fine. In the summertime I can't see it. But I mean, they got garbage in there. Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, you know, yeah. Well, I don't it's know. Tough. Yeah. yeah, just you gotta keep an eye out for that. Those mm -hmm. are the ones that really run up the price on people. The guys that are you know paying three hundred bucks for a sticker and dumping thousands of dollars worth of trash. Yeah, those are the ones that cost. You know. Right. Our senior citizens and everybody. I mean, those are the. Yeah, it's those uh, like you say those big black bags that. <laughs> You know, people, are, they know that they're being watched, but they're like smiling like they're not really straining to pick this bag up and throw it in the, in the compactor. So, you know, they know what they're doing, and we kind of know what they're doing. But like I say, you don't have to be confrontational. You don't have mm -hmm. to, all you have to do is... Remind them of the rules. It, yeah, mention it to them. If they don't comply, we'll take it from there. Right. If it seems like something's weird, we can always send them a letter. Yep. yep. Even if it's just a suspicion that they are dumping, you know, more, we could send them a letter and yeah. say, you know, we've noticed. Yeah. I mean, we have cameras down there. Now? I mean, most Maybe. of the like, for example, we I found know. this. We found the uh, no, we don't have cameras. We found this um, when we found that guy who put the, the <laughs> snowboard in there <coughs> or whatever it was. He. Um, he knew what he was doing, Ron, but we mentioned it to him right away, and he was very, you know, uh, he took yeah, yeah, he was fine. I mean, he was, I'm sorry, he said, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I'll take, that's fine, and, you know, we, but at least he knows we're watching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so we have to send that part. signal all the time, you know? What, what's that, Corey? That's the important part, right? Yeah. Yeah. Know yeah. We want yeah. I didn't mean to cut you off. The camera yeah. will help. And, um, you know, if we have to send somebody a letter and say we, we've noticed such and such, then right. and we'd appreciate it if you just uh, understood that my contracting degree is not allowed right. in the cycling center. Those kind of things. So any, anything Those else, things. Dick? Yep. We have a mattress to be picked up. Oh, okay. uh, it's on 16, in gears on the right. This mattress is before that, just mm -hmm. before it on the left. Oh, it dumped. Mm -hmm. Where is it now? How far up? 16? 16, do you know the company in gear? Yeah. It's a transmission repair place. Oh, okay, yeah. And just before that on the left, okay. there's a mattress stuck up on a, looks like a stone wall. Yeah. Who, who picks it up? Highway? Yeah, usually the highway. <coughs> we ask them or wait yeah. for them to do it or? Well, you can mention it. You can certainly mention it to them. Uh, they have a <coughs> stack of them. Do they? There's one. No, they do. Oh, they do? They have more. Well, yeah. I, I saw another one today. I, I don't know if it was in, it had to be in town because I didn't go anywhere. But I saw another one today. It was all torn up and oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to see oh, them nice. now. I mean, they're going to, It's this is crazy. People aren't going to pay outrageous prices to get rid of a, a mattress. But and Highway knows what to do with them? No. Oh. Oh, they, they have no idea, huh? Yeah. Right, I'll talk to John. Yeah. The Highway Department picked a couple up. This was a while back that they came to us and asked us, what are we doing? And we said, be honest with you, I don't know. We yeah. can't take them. Yeah. So I don't know what he did with them. All right. Okay. I'll talk to John. Sure. That'd be great. Because they asked us what to do with them. Yep. <coughs> From what I understand, Berkwood charges you're saying five bucks a piece. Well, that's it. And, and, you know, it's ridiculous. It's. I think Webster charges. Well, 25. They 25 did. when I yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We still have to probably. get it there and pay for it. Yeah. Who's I mean, to say that they haven't gone up? Right. Yeah, well, the last I heard, they said yeah. fine, yeah. so I don't know. Okay, anything else on? Uh, just just a security system up there. We're going to get a repair on that sometime. <laughs> How are we looking with that, uh, with Gene? It's not a repair, it's a whole new system, right? Yeah, it's a the whole system is going to be replaced. That's the repair. Replaced, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all outdated equipment can't get parts for. That's something else that should go out to bid. That should go out to bid. We should, we should try to get on that if we can. Yeah. That's an important piece. I have to write something up on it. Give it to Matt, see if you have him check it out. <coughs> yeah, can you know, can't monitor it when people aren't there if we don't have cameras. So, Kristen, is that something you can copy from a previous <coughs> thing we went out to vote on? I don't know if we went out to bid for the last one. Not for this, but for, for anything. And just copy the wording and plug in security system. Sure. Well, maybe, <coughs> again, I think maybe Matt can probably help us in that. Uh, if, I'll talk to Matt right. and see what he thinks, you know. I'll talk to him. Yep. I get two minutes. <laughs> okay. Are we all set here, folks? Okay, transfer station uh, nurse update is so next. Last week, Krista and I, we have attended the conference for public health nurses. Okay. And it was in Marlboro. It was Wednesday afternoon and Thursday. Yes, I day. dropped in to see you folks, and you <laughs> deserted yeah, me. Here. But... Um, <laughs> But we are happy about that we were able to bring 35 boxes of free EpiPens. And we have shared some with the schools because mm -hmm. uh, schools were giving, giving some ex like free EpiPens just for the kids who should have them and mm -hmm. they don't. Yep. But they said it's getting more difficult. They and teach the kids how to use them? No, the nurses. The nurses oh, the nurses. Them. I was going to say. We, with the, uh, we shared them with the uh, school nurses. 
Uh, however, I have extra pediatric epipens. So I ask the nurses from primary and elementary school if they can identify any kids who should have epipens. Yeah, wow. And they don't. They don't because the box of epipen is like six hundred dollars expense. Wow. So uh, yeah. elementary primary school nurse actually got back to me that she has kids who at least one, maybe more, who mm -hmm. would never brought the epipen to school. They should have it. They have a prescribed one, but never brought one, which means probably the parents not purchased one. Mm -hmm. Because they expire every year. So that, and some insurances cover very little. The copay so is very high. six hundred dollars a month. Yes, for a year. Like two, two epipens. And, and if you don't use them, they expire? Yeah, they expire, you know, like expiration, sure. a year, you know, a little bit over a year. Is there a way to get them if you want them? <coughs> Can you call and you 24 <coughs> hours later from Amazon, you have an EpiPen? No, it's per prescription. Yes, it's per, per prescription. This is prescribed, has to be prescribed right. by the doctor, you know, for people with severe allergies. But, um, so, like I said, I, we also contacted the uh, uh, social, adult so, uh, social center, um, Patrice if she can identify any seniors who should have one, have prescribed one, and cannot afford one. Because mm -hmm. I want to share those mm -hmm. epipens with those. Because mm -hmm. there, are, there are more and more people who don't purchase them because they simply cannot. Sure, sure. I mean, so we, you know, we, all towns, like, we're able to just request six of pediatric and six of uh, adult. We were very convincing, and we got 20 adults and 15 pediatrics. <laughs> Mm. So, you know, the school nurses were thrilled when I dropped them off today because one of the nurses had to use just one recently on the child who didn't have one uh, and got, got allergic uh, reaction for the first time at school. It's more prevalent now in the summer than it is in the winter. Yeah, peace. peace. And so that's, you know, so mm. we are excited about this. Sure. Because, sure. and we know people, like even in this building, some people, oh, there yeah. is someone who should have one and yep. doesn't. Yep. So this is um, it for now, right? but we are trying to find identify people who mm -hmm. would benefit from them. We are just not giving them to anyone. Mm -hmm. We want yeah. to make sure people have a prescription for those. So things. how was the seminar? It was interesting. It was nice. You know, they fed us good. <laughs> <laughs> it's always, always nice. important. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they served us like nice meals and. It's usually and the, the way we rate. Seminars. <laughs> yeah, the food was very important. Yeah, the food was in the uh, Holiday Inn, right? No, which one was Holiday Inn? Um, Holiday Inn in Marlboro. Marriott. Yes, Holiday Inn. Oh, and that's nice. Mm -hmm. that's no, that was yeah. nice. Like, there's interesting, yeah. always interesting information provided to us. For sure. They are pushing, uh, I don't know if it's going to happen, but the Massachusetts Association of Public Health Nurses mm -hmm. are pushing, like, you know, trying to um, uh, <coughs> influence the decisions of the state to have. Uh, one public, one full-time public health nurse for five thousand people, which to me it's you know push. <laughs> but it, it, yeah. it, it means so like that. Five thousand. Now we we're need two full-time public <coughs> health nurses. Now we're, yeah, where it uh, the town is at somewhere around nine thousand. Yeah, yes, almost nine. Yeah. yeah. But you know, this is what they recommend. The current recommendation wow. is this is what they. Uh, well, your job is secure. For. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yes, but you know, like interesting information. Like yeah. some of them are not as realistic, but interesting. <laughs> right, right. Wow. Okay. Anything else on that? I uh, got a question. On you mentioned prescriptions. It brought to mind the fact that people are throwing away prescription drug bottles in, into plastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shouldn't those would be it. brought to the police station? If they are empty, they, they can go in the plastic. If yes. they're not empty, then they should go down the yeah. yeah, this is for just medication and the bottles, not the containers. Right, right. Prescription medication. empty bottles. Right. So no, they wouldn't go to the police station. They would go to the... Right. Oh, okay. Yes. So they it, just put them in the plastic? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just right. medication. Do you ever run across? Because they were unidentifiable. Mm -hmm. you know, what is it you were saying? 
empty bar, empty, 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 empty ones go to the police station as well as any partially full ones. But, but like the orange container, empty container with your name on it would yes. go to the police? Yes. Why? Would because the, con the inside of the container contains medication. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't get disposed of properly, then it's going to end up in the water stream somewhere. Okay, so even the uh, so even so the empty amount. Ones. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so we would be running there back and that's forth. And you don't have to take your name off. I mean, if people are dropping, you know, full bottles of prescription pills in the mm -hmm. you know in the river and stuff, then that's you oh, know, yeah. or a lot of times people think, oh, you know, it's a good idea. I'll flush them down the toilet. Yeah, that's, that's not a good idea. No, no, not. that's not a good idea. So if people right. are bringing in <coughs> yeah, bottles yeah, full of pills, they should bring they should bring them downstairs, yeah. Yeah. which is separate from Sharps containers, mm -hmm. which is a totally separate thing, which, as you mentioned mm -hmm. last time, have you been getting a lot of yeah. people getting Sharps containers? Yeah, I was, was going to yeah. ask about the mm -hmm. yeah. okay. So we collect them. Yeah. Dave has okay. provided us with nice amount of Sharp containers, so when people come and bring Sharps in the uh, detergent, detergent, detergent mm -hmm. containers, or like in coffee cans, with like the lead, oh, would yeah. just you know, now, when you say school. shops, you mean syringes? Yes. Yes. Syringes, yes. Okay. Yeah, but shops could also be razor blades. Yes. They could be, but I mean the syringes. Just medical. medical. I was going to ask them, do you run across any syringes and you guys? I have one. You have them? Well, that's good. We can that's even a good give you some, uh, maybe yeah. like sharp containers, even to the transfer station. Well, the thing that I fear is, uh, you know, they reach into the containers, they're trying to sort things out no. the best they can, and mm -hmm. you could get, you know, it's so dangerous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to be careful. Yeah. If somebody asks about it, have them direct them to to the board health office, and we'll give them a sharps container. Sure. Then they can turn it in there. But should we have a sign at the transfer station that the board that we collect the sharp sharps here, so people know? Yeah, but I don't think they read the signs. <laughs> <laughs> Nope. <laughs> so many, you have so many There's of them? There's a lot of signs. No problem, yeah. 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 It's too many of them. <laughs> so, you know, Doesn't I'm apply to me. <laughs> yeah. Not everybody knows that we collect the sharps. So. Yeah. I mean, it's your idea is a great idea. The only problem is they're not reading the signs that we have up there now. So, so our solution is we have more to read. <laughs> yeah. Right? You well, you're, the, you're a fast reader. Yeah. <laughs> you there. Anybody ever asked about sharps? No. Mm -hmm. no. Nobody ever asked. Yeah, yeah, if you ever, you know, if someone asks ever about it, you can send them to us. We have a free sharp containers. We can sh give it to people and they can bring it, the full ones to us. So where are the sharp disposal containers located? So we, we have a big box, and when people bring the containers, we fill the box. Uh, Where's the box? In the closet. We have a storage room in the back, which is locked. With the ones that the people bring in. You ask them where the empty containers go? Empty or full, like that. If I have a shop item, mm -hmm. where do I dispose of it? You get a box, you dispose it at home. I get a box? Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. you get a box. You wouldn't just have one needle, you would have, you would be like prescribing, you would have oh, go through a bunch. So, this, yeah, <laughs> so you would have a box to put yes. them all in, it would, you wouldn't be walking around. You know, we have like, a smaller one, we have a bigger yeah, one. Take my, take we don't take any needles. No, 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 that would be well, weird. But an EpiPen is a single use disposable thing. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. same thing, if I, if I have a bee sting and mm -hmm. I need an EpiPen, you give mm -hmm. me a box to put it in? No, you, you know what, you can bring it to us in like a something, and we, we will take it from you and put it to the box. Okay. But if you have a one-time use, just like an EpiPen, you don't need a whole box. I don't box. think so. You okay. can just I wrap it, put it like in the bottle, like in the water bottle, yeah. and, that location, it and bring it to us. That location is here to yes. dispose of it? Yes, in the office, and we are, take, we are taking from you and bring it to the back room, yeah. which but is it's, locked. But it's the office here? In the here. office, yes, in the office. So in an EpiPen, you throw the empty bottle. So we won't. I don't be even know what an EpiPen pen looks like. I just know the word. Uh, yeah, this is the. Oh, I can show you the EpiPen. pen. So, you can see so that's the box that you would give me. Yes. yes. If you use sharp like, needles on the regular basis, okay. giving yourself injections like insulin or people taking yeah. medication. Yeah. Really low here. <laughs> So you never touch them, right? No. Mm -mm. 
But yeah. people would bring them in a laundry detergent bottle or and tape the top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it just this is safer. This is safer. safer. Oh once, yeah. Once you close that lid, you it's difficult to open. Extremely difficult. To do what? To open it. Once you lock it. Open that container. Okay. It's almost. An, I mean, you can do it, but it's hard. Mm. Adults, two of them in each box, and these are the actual bags. It's pretty good size. Yeah, two of them. Mm. And they look like this, and this is the trainer, yeah. which has no needle, and you can practice how to use it. Yeah. Is so every box is a better the location to use it? <laughs> yes. Is it, is it would be the and best? can go through the pants. Okay. You don't have to. Is it poss possible to make a mistake and use a real thing to train and you think yeah, you yes, if you don't pay yes. attention? <laughs> that has absolutely happened. <laughs> oh. Not me, but I watched <laughs> yeah. it happen. Whoops. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'll tell so you about it says later. trainer. Remember, make sure it has, mm -hmm. says trainer. Mm -hmm. What is it? Orange to the thigh, blue oh. to the sky. Right? Sounds right. Blue to the sky. Yeah. Is that so you, the blue stays Oh, on I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. Oh. It took a minute to register. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so this is the pediatric ones. We have two of these, and we have these. These are the adult ones. And of course, this is a trainer. Can I see the insert? Let me insert. So there's a trainer in each box? Yes. <coughs> the trainer in each box. So you, yeah, because you know, it's just to practice, like the parents, they have, they never use that, they have a child with it. Um, uh, allergy. If you yeah. don't practice, you may be terrified to use it if you don't know how. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they give you the trainer to practice, yeah. so you know what to do in the case of emergency. How hard to... There is no time to learn. Yeah, right. You know, at that time. <laughs> you have to know what you are doing. Right. Yeah. All right, we need <laughs> volunteer. There will be a test next week. <laughs> That's great. Maybe they gave you that many of them. That's 600 bucks a pop. Yes, 600. 600 for one box? For this box. And this one is good. Actually, this one has a nice expiration date. This one is till August 2024. This one is till November 2024. So like two, this one covers two summers. Nice. This one not full. So summers. how many do we have of those? Uh, so I already gave some to the schools. Uh, we brought... Um, <coughs> 20 boxes of these and 15 of these. Wow. Uh, what's the difference between the two? Pediatric children, adults. Oh, okay. Adults. Okay. Mm -hmm. This one is, yes, this one is 0 0.15 milligrams. This one is 0.3. Okay. okay. Mm. So, so we were happy that we got more. So we have some for the elderly as well. Uh, I contacted Patrice if she knows of someone, like anyone who has, has it prescribed and cannot afford it. Okay. For some reason, you know, doesn't have it. Right. Where, so did the money, <coughs> where did the money come from? That state was, grant? Yeah, this, no, this one was given by the state. This is the, by the immunization department from the state, DPH. And like I said, we were most allowed six of each. Mm -hmm. We made a special request, you know, we said the worst case scenario, they will say no. Yeah. But I gave nine to schools this morning okay. of that. So that's good. Excellent. Okay. Wow. Anything else? Uh, yeah, sure. Any questions? It's just on the trainer. I was looking to see if the other ones were tracked. Okay, we'll move on to uh, me. <laughs> The only thing that uh, the, uh, at, we left the last meeting uh, with concern of um, the people who are running the Chinese restaurant here in town, uh, <clears throat> I stopped by a couple times since then, uh, since the meeting I went in and um, I mean they've cleaned up the place. I would say a good 50% uh, of the issues that were there uh, have been addressed. There's still some lack of compliance. Um, <clears throat> it, you know, I, has, uh, has uh, Daniel? Daniel, da um, Daniel went. 
last week, but I haven't seen. Oh, he sent a report, but I haven't read it yet. But I, I didn't. Did he didn't call me or anything. So. Uh, uh, okay, but uh, I, I, I myself, like I say, I've, I've been there twice, um, and I saw an improvement from the first time I went to the second time I went. I pointed out a few things to them uh, that maybe they should address immediately. <laughs> And I, you know, it's difficult because the, the language, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it, it's it's just uh, very difficult to communicate because I, I half the time I don't know if they understand what I'm trying to mm -hmm. convey here. I, I, you know, usually um, I, I see this a lot. <laughs> you know, yes, yes, but I don't know if they understand. You know. Uh, it was great to have that woman, um, what's her name? Uh, Chin. What's her name? Chin. Chin. Uh, from she she full, works full time at the bank. She's a very nice woman, but it was great to have her here at the meeting to, to assist us. And <clears throat> um, so I, I guess we, we're going to have to work with them. I know that they are supposed to be going through that program with um, uh, a, consultant. Yeah, a consultant who can help them, guide them through, you know, and they will be paying for it. We are not covering that. So they are, that's at their expense. Um, so that's where we are with, with that. I don't think we have anything else that came in, huh? I don't know. We will have inspections coming up for the swimming pools in the town. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Are you all set with your water detection mm -hmm. measuring <coughs> person? Yes. Okay, so uh, are there any, any questions? Okay, we can move on to the next. Uh, we have bills and warrants. I haven't even looked at these, but I signed them. <laughs> why are we, why are we paying for fire extinguishing day Because we have to do that yearly, the transfer station. Mm -hmm. I would think that would all come under everywhere. I'm sure they come in here too. <laughs> and the fire department, I would guess, would pay for it. No, because it's, an, it's a, they don't do it. It's a service that does it. Right. Yeah. No, we pay for it. Hmm. I still haven't seen the bill for the signs we put in the transfer station. His problem, not ours. Yeah. We just have to have it by before June 30th. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his problem, not ours. Well, it will be my problem <laughs> when it comes in July 1st. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Are we making any progress on the... Uh, you didn't speak with Matt at all about it. He's working on it now. He just he made is. it after town meeting. He had to wait until that was all over. Oh, okay. Yeah. How'd that go at town meeting? Good. Everything worked out? Everything worked out. Nice. Yeah. Okay, how do we feel about the minutes? So, speed nice reader? Nice and long one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. Who's doing work now? That's not really well, right? No, Stephanie. Yeah, she does a great job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see we had another water main break. That was the same one. In town Friday. Oh, we did? Where? Oh, North Street? There was one on North Street. Somewhere in that area. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because... Oh, 
<coughs> we, was, we were supposed to conduct pickleball Sunday night, and they were set up for the voting Monday. And because of the water main break, they shifted everything, and we just lost out. Hmm. Is Dave still got no water, too? Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on with that. The building inspector lives. Because they're tearing that down. How soon? Soon. And they get the board party out back? And yeah. Still using it. Okay, so do I hear a motion on the order to do them one at a time? Yeah. I move we accept the minutes of the Board of Health meeting Monday, February 27th, 2023, as distributed. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. I move on. Next. I move we accept the minutes of the Board of Health meeting Monday, February 13th, 2023, as distributed. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, great Scott. Move on. Uh, we have old business, new business. Mm -hmm. one, one more, more. One, one more minute time. here. That's oh, one more minute. Okay. Three days on here. Oh, I didn't notice that. <laughs> This was the tobacco meeting. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the, the package store. Hmm. How is it? they're still without water, right? Um. Ken's been working with them because they're tearing it down. Oh. And building a new, new place. So. But yeah. I don't see anything. I don't. I don't know down. what the timeline is, but yeah. he was okay. working on them. Okay. The structural stuff with that building too. Oh yeah. It's yeah. Rough. You notice the pole when you walk in. Yeah, you almost fall through it. Yeah. We didn't get any tonnage reports this time. Tonnage? <coughs> so transfer station. Transfer station. Yeah, I don't think. That's any. because I just got the bill and I because yeah. we're having our meeting All early right. this month. But I have them right here. Okay. So Okay, I move we accept the minutes of the Board of Health meeting Monday, February 6, 2023, as distributed. Okay, second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, that will be goes on to the second page. There's only one small one. Well, we'll have to have a three-hour dialogue of why this reading is so low here. Okay. Uh, do we have any old business and new business? No. no. Okay. Uh, I guess we close this meeting. Um, do I have a motion, please? I'm going to make uh, the oh. next meeting. The oh, fifth. next we meeting. Did, yep. June. What is it, June? June 5th. 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 Okay. 5th or 6th? 5th is the Board of Health meeting. The 6th is the training. Nope. 5th is the meeting and the training right okay, after. Well, the, t the training for the, the drilling. The drilling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah. So what do we decide then? 6-5. For the Board of Health For the Board of Health meeting and a training. And then 6-6 six, six would be the drill. So Matt's working on the contract or the what we'll put out? Did, we have, did you give any sort of an inkling of a timeline for when we can, because we have to post it? And so we need to have somebody signed and ready to roll by June 30th. <coughs> Either that or we extend 
DP another DP, year. Yeah. Not a year. Well, well I guess we'd have to do it a year. That, that's, that's a killer. A that's a killer. We can try and avoid that. Yeah. It kind of sneaks up on you, you know? Yeah. <coughs> it really does. We worried about a couple months ago when we first started talking about it. And then yeah. the last meeting, we had right. you know, zero information on it. And it kills a whole month. That said, I've got it. Okay, right. so uh, do I have a motion to? Uh, so once he well once he has it, then what do we do with it? So well, he says we've it's got, got, it, it's got, got it, it, but we have to hire. We have to post. Company, we we have, have to post bid. Post bid. So when he says he has it, what does that mean? It means he's, he's figuring out which way to go. What would be the best? In, in Whether it be streamlining or <coughs> what yeah. would be doing what we're doing yeah, now, which avenues are best, best for us to do, yeah. either stick with BP or whatever. Well, again, yeah, do you single do stream or do you do compactors or do you do his or, yeah. 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 What would make the most sense for that? Yeah. Okay. And he would be responsible for setting up the, the bidding system for it also. Right. Yeah. And somebody says to me, I've got it. They got it. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, do we have any anything else? Any old business, new business? No. Okay. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Move we adjourn this meeting. Okay. All, uh, any second? Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Meeting adjourned.